What's up guys, this is Inhaze and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be going over a new MC Edit filter I've created. It's actually a random number generator creator. Um, it will allow you to easily create these little segments or sections that can basically just generate any random numbers you want. It's highly customizable and there's a lot of different options you can use. but it's very easy, it's very simple, and to be honest, I actually made this like six months ago, and for one reason or another, just never posted it, and forgot about it, and yeah, here we are, I saw it in MC Edit the other day, and figured I should post it now, or or it'll never get released, so that's what I'm doing. So this is basically what's going on, there's a couple different versions of it here. This is the most basic version that most people probably use, the other ones probably aren't very useful but they're easy to do so I just add them in there anyways. So basically what's going on here, you'll probably uh, notice this looks a little familiar. This is kind of what people were doing several months ago, um, dropping these spawner carts into lava and uh, kind of controlling what these spawner carts are uh, doing through that with a furnace and a lava bucket. So this is kind of outdated uh, Minecraft technology if you will, but you know, it's uh, it still works fairly easy, and it wouldn't be that hard for anyone to update this to like a set block lava, set block air type of deal. So uh, yeah, that's basically what's going on. But um, what it does is just spawning continuously, spawning this cart. You got a spawner right there, and if the spawner is in lava, obviously it's dying or getting killed and not uh, having enough time to generate anything. Um, but if it, you know, is allowed to stay active, it will start spawning all sorts of different items that will trigger uh, any one of these uh, pressure plates, and then which in turn are going to set a scoreboard objective to a random number. And this is just done with a spawn potential, so it's it's super easy. I'm very surprised no one else has done this before. And these two blocks right here are just um, what set everything up. So they add the objective and then they set the display to the objective. Whoops, I keep falling down. The signs right here are actually generated um, by the filter also. They kind of just output the settings basically. So you kind of have a reference in game when you're done then. So the ID is the scoreboard ID. Refresh is the uh, number of ticks um, in between each number that's getting generated and min max step is the min uh, generator number max and then the interval step in between um, the weights you can actually have custom weighting on here so let's say you wanted to have you know the lower numbers have a lot higher chance of spawning than the higher numbers you can do that you can set the min medium and max and it will uh, automatically you know make a line linear change uh, throughout the spawning uh, numbers and then you have, uh, oh, this is just, this is nothing really. Um, yeah, you just basically just set it up. You just flip this lever a couple times so it initializes the score, um, scoreboard objective, and then it'll set the display. And then once the lava's gone, it'll start spitting out numbers. So let's go ahead and do that and click this a couple times till we see it pop up on our, oh, there it goes. Okay. So there we go. As you can see, and here, um, it is spawning the items, and you can see our scoreboard changing accordingly. So it's it's as simple as that. Very basic. Very basic. And you can obviously just turn it off by um, activating the furnace, or not furnace. I'm sorry, dispenser. So yeah, it's it's extremely simple to use. Um, to set this up by hand with anything more than like a couple of them would be a huge pain in the ass so that's why I kind of decided to make this filter and with the filter you can have it you know highly customized so so that's basically how that works over here these are essentially the same things but I kind of made them uh, almost like graphs if you will or this is like a 2d graph so this is just, instead of dropping items like that, this is going to just drop falling sand entities. 
so you can kind of watch it just um, just watch it drop the stuff there there's probably a few uh, actual uses for this um, yeah I don't know I kind of just did it because I thought it was cool and I originally did it because I just wanted to test how you know evenly it was you know distributing these numbers so that kind of gives you an idea of of uh, how that's working so that's the kind that's the 2d version of it and then this is pretty much the same thing except uh, it's basically like a 3d version where it's starting them a little bit higher and then it's just dropping them dropping them down so you can see you know again like how evenly the distribution is between the numbers and this is kinda cool these are all actually set so they all have the even distribution all have the same chance of spawning but you can you can make this like really big I mean have like a thousand different spots on here and then have the uh, the weights changed accordingly so like the lower numbers only spawn you know every once in a while and the the medium numbers spawn a lot and the high numbers like hardly ever spawn or something like that anything you really want so but yeah these don't have a whole lot of real world you know purpose to them to be honest so um, that's basically it except uh, I want to show you this one real quick <laughs> like I said there is uh, almost why is this on fire that's not good there's almost no limit to uh, how many numbers you can generate here this is able right here to generate 5,000 different numbers and it's exactly like the same thing over there except it's just you know got a lot more possibilities of, uh, you know different numbers it can hit so you can go ahead and start that up and you can see my number change and you can probably probably catch one of these falling oh, I heard one up here but yeah there is no limit and these can really be any size you want them to be they will they have to be at least this size right here two by three but they will it will build it or create it according to the size of your selection box in the MC edit so it'll pretty much just fill out what it can in the uh, width and depth and then it'll start stacking them so and you can actually have it so it'll confine everything to just a selection box so it'll automatically just fill basically one layer excuse me one layer or however many layers you can fit in the height and then just stop so but yeah this right here 5,000 different numbers I can't ever really see any reason why you would need anything this big but it was just more of an example of it is possible and all those are getting generated off of a single minecart there's this single minecart has 5,000 different spawn potentials so it's quite a bit so yeah that's basically it um, like I said it could be used for lots of different things anytime you need a random number um, yeah it would work great for that so um, let's go ahead and go into MC edit and I will show you exactly how this filter works okay we are in MC edit now as you can see our giant tower here you know actually I'm gonna delete this real quick because it's kind of all these tile entities are kind of lagging this up a little bit so go ahead and do that get rid of those okay oh it's actually I bet it's the actual spawner entity to be honest okay there we go save that real quick okay so what you need to do for this filter like all filters just make a selection we're gonna go ahead and get that out of the ground a little bit go to filter and the name of the filter is RNG builder this is uh, what the main screen looks like you got three different tabs here you got the main extra and help help will just give you a very brief description of what uh, each field does um, extra is allows you to change if you want that graphing block to something different I use a red uh, redstone lamp on and I just make it on because it spawns on and then as soon as it lands it turns off so um, I don't know I thought that was kinda nice 
you have your custom weights here this is how you set those if you want to use them just make sure to hit the custom weights button um, and then you just have the main tab which controls if you want the basic RNG machine or if you want either of the two different graphing styles so then you have your scoreboard ID this is whatever the objective ID that will be used in game for these numbers you have your refresh these uh, refresh ticks and these are ticks um, like redstone ticks so there's like it says here 20 for one second so if 5 is going to generate 4 numbers per second um, you can actually control how many spawn carts are getting created they're um, like, some, like the graphs there's not a whole lot of reason for that you can the more carts the more numbers are going to be um, generated or the faster the numbers are going to be generated but it really shouldn't make too much of a difference unless you're using the 3D graph which in that case it'll just stack them up a lot faster so I mean you can change that though in most cases you'll probably just want it one and then you have you know whatever your min generated value your max generated value and then your step interval um, whatever is going to be in between them so um, it's as simple as that you just obviously have that selection there and let's go ahead and confine selection I forgot about that one this is like I said before this will um, basically just fill out what it can in your selection and then stop no matter what this number is so if I hit filter it's just going to do one layer where if I didn't have that on it would try and stack them up like it was before so so that's how that works and we can go ahead let's make another selection here I'll kind of show you how you know, the different sizes work whoops bump that up go back into our filter and uh, let's change that to like 500 and we'll take confine to selection off so this will just fill out like I said in the width and the depth and then just start stacking them to however it needs to however many layers it needs to to get to 500 so so then you have just like a really thin strip of uh, of the spawning segments and you can also do it I mean you can make this like 3x3 three three really if you want filter let's try that same same settings again hmm I'm not sure why it didn't uh, didn't go all the way up to be honest get out of there go ahead and delete that out and let's try that again I'm not sure why weird okay it worked well hmm something apparently is going on there I'll have to look into that but normally it would just stack them till it got to 500 so not sure exactly what's going on with that but yeah that's that's basically how it works aside from that being weird so then yeah you save it and it will give you exactly what I showed you in game so that's about it if you like this video make sure to leave a comment hit the like button favorite it and I will see you guys in the next video